Yo guys, it's Cyro. You already know that today we are back playing some more Pokemon Violet. On the last time, we uh, beat up Atticus. Uh, it was a very tough battle, but I was able to pull it off. Uh, but the last uh, video took so long. So we are now doing the aftermath of this. Then we're probably going to go take some classes at the Academy and then go in a new direction. But let's go ahead and uh, see Atticus's, you know, backstory and learn more about Team Star. We were told that he's the one that, like, uh, designed the outfits and stuff and... You know, who knows? I love how it shows, like, a Terry battle in the background in, like, a past cutscene. <laughs> uh, f uh, forgive me, it took a, uh, a goodly time to procure the required materials. It looks different than I expected him to look. Well, I was saying, these boots are insane. Ah, yes, the move uh, flame charge was not used for those particular pieces. Uh, this outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. We haven't seen Aerie yet, and we haven't seen that other the small one. Uh, I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great infernal Aerie. If if it aligns with your vision, then I am content. These are outfit upgrades that are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. You two looking like absolute beasts. Anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. Ah, you're so good at these uh, sorts of crafting things, uh, Atticus. Uh, those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff right out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught uh, with thorns. I n neither expect nor desire sympathy uh, from the unrefined rebel. Oh, well, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, uh, world. Our Atticus has got fighting words. Yeah, I don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. All right, okay, let's move on to the next step. Time to put our backs into the, uh, our battle training so we're all prepared, or for all prep for Operation Star. we got to be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I would devote myself heart and soul to honing my battle skills. Yeah, I'd say you were pretty good with your battle skills. Uh, for the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Thanks. How respectful. Uh, take this contraption to it. Uh, it contains a technique that allows one to co cover their foes in gunk. Gunk shot. Ooh, gunk shot is actually good. Very, very nice. Uh, Slyus, the name, is it not? He utterly bested me, uh, but that victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such uh, was his brilliance. Don Atticus. My compadre. I see this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of the team star saved us. Thanks to the operation you carried out, we were able to go to school again. If you got a spot for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. Uh, we've no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. And you evidently trust this big boss if you're just a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own word, they are uh, a recluse. As with the rest of us, uh, to what seemed bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases awaiting the day of their return. That's why you don't go to school. But what if they never return? Then what do you do? Uh, but, but still, don't you think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus? Or don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. My compadre, I owe a great debt. Seems we're one step closer to the truth beyond Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the Academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues that students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. Shame how oblivious I've been. Ah, I believe Team Star would be the uh, the one to only... Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at reading! I believe Team Star to be the only... To be the one and only treasure of my life. He thinks I may have been mistaken. Words are hard, y'all. Alright, but that is... We're wrapping that up. Fun stuff. I think we have two more. No, we definitely have two more Team Star bases to go, which is very exciting. All right, what do you got? Uh, Sly, it's me. The Atticus Star badge is now yours, then? Yep. I see. Uh, now that this boss has been taken down, the Navi Squad's days are numbered. Uh, now, Atticus 2. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind right now. So Operation Starfall, you've taken uh, down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. It seems like a good time to let you know what you're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses in Creed, 
Create a team star. The one they call the big boss. Uh, who is this big boss? Who knows? They control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. We defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded. Uh, that'll be it for team star. Since the big boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. I was very much under the impression that Cassiopeia is the is the big boss, but maybe maybe not. Uh, once all the squad bosses are out of action, the big boss will finally have to take the stage. How about your reward? I'll transfer some LP over your phone, as promised. Thanks. We have so much. All right, and now there's more kinds of TMs to be made. Uh, Happy Pokemon learn strong moves so that they can continue to be of use to the operation. That's probably unit rep should be with you soon. Yep. Hey there, Sly. That uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Sure. I wasn't talking to you. You have a sandwich on you? I guess we'll never know. All right. There we go. That best mind you, uh, you're talking about. Cassie P has mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who caused all kinds of misery at the academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. What do you mean? Uh, no, I just. Um, that's right. You, you need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. All right. All right. Well, I'll be off then. But uh, bye. I'm mean, so I don't lose to those guys. I won't. Definitely won't happen. Didn't almost happen <laughs> at all or anything like that. There is a, a Terror Raid over here. I wonder what Pokemon uh, we could potentially get. I do want to check it out. It's also uh, an item right here. All right, what is it? That is a Shuppet. I'm not entirely sure what type uh, that is. I can look. Oh, I think it's. Oh, gosh. Well, I'm right on top of it. It's purple. It's either Psychic or Poison or something. I'm not entirely sure. Let's uh, just bring out somebody that isn't going to lose to anybody. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive that I do not have this. And uh, two star means more potential experience KD medium, which is sick. Uh, after this, I'm going to look at the map to decide a, you know, a path forward. Which might just be going to another Team Star base, because I know there's another one that's, like, pretty close by. So, we'll see if that's the direction I want to go or what. Okay, I do think that's Psychic. Have we not seen Psychic, uh... Terrestrialization yet? That looks new to me. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and Shadow Ball. Do you live? The answer... Will not surprise you. <laughs> we definitely... I don't know when we start unlocking, like, higher level, like, terror raids, but, like, we haven't found anything more than, like, a two-star. And they are, uh, kind of pushovers for me at this point. Will you stay in a Pokeball? The world is on the edge of their seats, dying to know. Will you be mine? Let's find out. Yeah, we got it. We got three small candies, one more small candy. We didn't even get a medium. What a terrible terror that was. Awful. What a waste of time. I'm just kidding. It's still fine. Tell me all about Shuppet. Feeds on the dark emotions of sadness and hatred, which makes it grow steadily stronger. Ah, your hatred feeds it. All right, well, we can go ahead and just go to the boxes. And there we go. Shuppet is in our collection. How, how many do we have? Oh, we have 80. I can collect a reward, which I don't really care that much about this reward because it's a water stone, uh, which is nice. I just don't have anything to use it on yet. Uh, next one will be nest balls, 10 nest balls. Okay. All right, let's open up the map. Uh, so there is, that's a gym badge for ice. Okay, there's also a ghost gym badge right there. 
I was thinking of this one that's really close, but these actually seem like they would be way closer. No? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, okay. Well. I do think I can... I can always just come back, fly to here, and then see if there's a way to just travel into the ice? I don't know if these are blocking me from going that direction or, or what. I'm just gonna like put a destination marker there. Just sort of see. Alright, so these are all gonna sort of block my way, it looks like. There's also... Where are you? Give me goal. Can't ride my ride on here. I'm pretty sure that, that that's a gimme goal, like, literally right there. But I can't ride Murad on and jump over into the thing. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I can? Ooh, Phantom Force. Yeah! I can ride Murad on here. Take that, game. Alright, so yeah, we will have to see... Let me, let me look at it again. Let me, let me just see. Maybe one of these is more like a path. Like, this doesn't have any walls blocking it. But there isn't, like, a path going to it. There's a Pokemon Center there. That might be the way that we're supposed to get to it. Maybe from over on this side. There's also one there. Yeah, I don't know. That's a... A little rough. I don't exactly know. We could... Can we get to that one? I don't know how to, how to navigate this entire place up here. There's a path that goes from Medali up this way. So that's somewhere we can go. There's also a Titan over there. I think, honestly, what we're going to end up doing is going down to this gym leader. Because there was a trainer on the way that had a level 38 Pokemon. And we're at that range now that we could do that. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, but I'm going to fly back to the Academy and probably take a couple classes. And then we'll reset our team to be prepared to take on a strong... I think that's a Fire-type gym leader? So, but we have, we have stuff that we can... Uh, used to, to face it now which is exciting into the academy we go let me in let me in i guess i'm gonna be taking some midterms for uh, some of these other classes i can collect rewards by doing that all right what do we want to do what do we want to do uh, let's do languages. Yes. As much as, as much as I'm going to regret this because of all the French things that the teacher's going to say, and I don't know how to pronounce, I guess that's all right. We're going to do this class in the midterm. How about your friends? How are you all today? You certainly look fantastic. Uh, yeah, better than you. Uh, it's time for another one of Salvatore's lessons, uh, language lessons. Etez-vous prêt? You already ready? I have a prayer. Are you ready? Uh, yes. I do not accept your French around here. Trivian, very good. I will speak in any other language, not French. <laughs> Only to spite you, not for any other reason. Uh, Millicent's are not a one-way street. No, no, I'm in trade street today when no one speaks up. Very sad, that is. In our last class, I believe I taught you all how to say delicious in other languages, right? In the court de jour, today's class, we will learn about a very special phrase that you can put to use when the time is just right. Shinaru, Chudame, Teamo, Eclibidic. Does anyone know what these phrases mean? Uh, Je Teame, Teamo. Uh, I think Teamo means I love you. So, yeah. Thank you, Spanish, a good language, for helping me out there. <laughs> Fantastic Sly, correct? You deserve a, a medal or door, a gold medal. Je Teame, Teamo, Eclibidic. I assume Eclibidic is uh, German. These three phrases uh, you may know, I think. Why? Because they're all quite famous ways to say I love you. Oh my, have I embarrassed you all, my friends? Uh, what timid little uh, garçons et, et filets. Uh, shy boys and girls, that is. It's so very important to express your feelings about things to others, you know. This is especially true for positive emotions. If you get married someday and argue with your spouse over some uh, silly little thing, all you have to do is apologize and say I love you. And to your bien, and all will be well. That uh, That is, yeah, that's all you have to do. You don't need to resolve any underlying conflict issues. You don't need to talk about the problem. All you have to do is just say, ah, sorry, love you, and everything will be magically fixed. Uh, it works. Try it out in your marriage, and watch the divorce rate plummet to 0%. He's got it all figured out. 
I should know why just last week I had a big argument with my fam, my dear wife that is. Uh, but I was quick to say I'm sorry and all was well. And now I propose nothing, uh, let's give you all one, one of my wise words of advice. Just be quick to apologize when you have an argument with someone. If it's for your families, friends, and your crushes. I know you can do it, I believe in you. Uh, our approaching course, our next class will be uh, the midterm exam. Be sure to review what we learned and listen to more audios about today. Alright, language midterm it is. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be like, how do you say I love you? How do you say delicious? How do you say thank you? Uh, oh, perfect. I can just put them all together and just uh, walk up to people and saying, uh, hello, thank you, delicious. So that's <laughs> that's what this class has taught me. Uh, all right, let's let's go ahead and take this test. All right, let's see if we've remembered all of our all of our lessons. Actually, uh, today we take our midterm exam. The ten of you relax. That is, and do your best. And we pray. You ready? Let's begin. Uh, that is. Thank you. Uh, probably the one that basically says delicious. Don't belong. Uh, <laughs> time to eat. Although time to eat and I love you is very, very close in my mind. If you say time to eat, I might have stronger feelings for you than if you say I love you. <laughs> uh, when uh, we speak with the person, what is the first step to smooth communication? Uh, get mad at them. That will always work. What's your beloved teacher's name? Uh, oh, the Salvatore versus Salvador is actually a kind of a trick. I do think it's Salvatore, though. Yeah, all right. That one we at least immediately get an answer for. Uh, Say any times the imposable style is put down your pens, that is. Oh, that was easy enough for you, especially that uh, derriere question, that last question. I'm sure you all did great. Bravo, my friends. You can uh, check your scores at the school's front desk. It does sort of trip me up when, uh, you're, when he's mixing multiple language in one sentence. It sort of throws me off. I, I, I like my languages to be... Uh, I like my sentences to be in one language. <laughs> Whether it's one I understand or not, it just flows better if it's all in the same language. Sort of switching between um, English, non-English, and other languages is just like... It's trippy. It's hard to wrap my, my, my head around all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got 5 out of 5. Right? Yeah! Okay. 5 experience candies S. I'm assuming that's the reward for all the midterms. All right, we should... Uh, I guess I'll do biology. I feel like it's been a while since we've done biology with Mr. Jacques. We're going to do this, do the midterm, and then we're going to head to... Uh, I think that city at the bottom left is Afrinata. I think that's what it is. And uh, we're going to head that way, uh, unless it gets too hard. And then we'll go a different way. But we have plenty of time. This shouldn't take that long. Hello, hello. I hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. I seem to remember teaching you all about the importance of eggs in our last class together. I do not remember. Now on that note, is everyone using the Pokédex? First, this Pokémon born from eggs as well as those encountered via other methods, so don't you worry about that. And, uh, just so you know, I'm the one who developed Pokédex app. Oh, you're so smart. It was way before I started teaching here at the Academy, though. You don't really look that old. How long ago was the Pokédex invented in this world? Back then, I was a researcher. In fact, Director Clavel wasn't working in education at the time, either. He was researching alongside me at the same facility. We got to research Pokemon uh, together day in, day out. Uh, those sure were fun times. I get yelled out all the time, though. Wait a second, how did I get into this? Pretty sure I was talking about the Pokedex. Uh, anyway, today I like to teach you about catching Pokemon. And so I know a great way to uh, catch Pokemon is more easily is to first lower your HP. But there is another way to up your chances of a successful catch. Can you guess what it is? Uh, inflict with a status con uh, condition. <laughs> Prove you're stronger than the Pokemon. Wow, that's right, so I have a great job. It's almost like I've caught 90 Pokemon. Uh, or 80 Pokemon. Uh, the correct technique for making Pokemon easier is to catch this inflicted with a status condition. Sleep is, is an especially effective status condition. It makes Pokemon drastically easier to catch. And Pokemon that can uh, use moves that put a bonus to sleep like Sleep Powder or Hypnosis, filling up your Pokedex will be a cinch. There are other ways to uh, improve your catch rate as well, like using Pokeballs specifically designed to be effective against certain Pokemon, eating foods that give you catching power works too, or sneaking up on Pokemon from behind to catch them by surprise when you start a battle. Ah. And if you're having trouble, you may want to take the rounds uh, to the gym to get gym badges. Earning gym badges will make it easier to catch Pokemon at higher and higher levels. Okay, please go, uh, do come show me your Pokedexes once they start to fill up. Will you give me another reward? Another day, another enjoyable class. Oh yeah, don't forget our next class will be a test. Easy, we're gonna ace that test. 
pretty sure I like aced every quest that he threw my way, so. Am not worried. Yes. Uh, let's take this midterm. Yep. Just gonna ace through it really quick. And do our thing. And it'll all be great. Let's do it. Well, hello everyone. Today's the midterm exam. It sure feels good to fill in those empty spaces of the answer sheet, doesn't it? Take your time to contemplate each question carefully. Uh, so that I can walk with you. Now, that's not fair. It's both R and ZR. It's literally both R and ZR. Just so you can walk with me, I would say ZR. I feel like the answer might be R, but it's, the answer is ZR because that lets your Pokemon out and it just walks with you. It doesn't even battle. Uh, combine one letter and one number below to correctly say when and where eggs are found. What? Oh, I see. So, while walking in tall grass, where eggs are found? No, during picnics in your basket. So, so A, two. Oh, why, why is this so hard? What is the following is an effective way to warm up eggs? Uh, cooking them? <laughs> uh, walking around? What will not make Pokemon easier to catch? Giving them a berry. Yes. What will make it easier to catch Pokemon of higher and higher levels? Gym badges. Uh, this question won't affect your grade. How do you like to play next? Is it easy to use? I'm happy to hear your honest opinions. Uh, it's alright. <laughs> I had trouble finding the reward system by opening it up, and I also don't really go and, like, look through the Pokédex very often. I just look at the number. Alright, I went time's up. Hope you enjoy those those questions. Uh, alright, yeah. Don't tell the director about the last question. Why? I'm getting these right away. I hope you all are looking forward to see how you did. I am. I'm not convinced that I actually got them all right. But I only need to get three right, and I definitely got three right, so is fine feels great to get a test out of the way doesn't it let's take a look at your results you must get three quests correct to pass the midterm exams and four questions correct to pass the final exams five out of five let's go okay all right i did get them all right i wasn't sure hey, it's more experience candies very good all right we are done taking classes uh i don't even think i really need to put a a destination marker on the map. I'm pretty sure I know exactly where I'm going. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and switch out our team that's all dead. Oh gosh. All right, let's just party bench. Let's just let's just get the party back in here. Um you you all right, wait. And then so who am I who am I missing? No, this is this is essentially what I had. No, I'm missing somebody. Who am I missing? I haven't forgot about Dash Button, but if we're going to a fire gym, I don't know that it makes the most sense uh, to have Dash Button be, be the one. I was going to say sort of same thing for, for Toad Scroll. Toad Scroll probably won't end up making a reappearance. I don't know. Wasn't there? Did I not have another like official like party member? I mean, there's the, the actually in the, in the Gabite. A lot of, a lot of grass types. Am I crazy? Oh, we have 32 boxes now. Holy crap. All right, I guess I have like my four main main party members and then everything else. I think keeping Floatzel is actually good. And at this point, I kind of want to level up Sandigast because I can. All right, yeah. I guess... No, I guess this is sort of our main team. That's super strange. I just like felt like a... Uh, um, I thought there was, like, other Pokemon that were more consistent party members, but I guess not. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. So, I want to go this way. I think I want to go down to this after out of town. That is not fire. Why was I thinking that's a fire type? Am I okay? I think that's... Is that psychic? I think that's psychic. Okay. Well, then, now I don't know... Oh, I know I know the switch I'm going to make. I think we're going to bench Floatzel. And bring Dash Bun out. Because I I still really like Dash Bun. I like Play Rough. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and heal. 
There we go. You know actually what I want to do as well? I would love... I want to get Sandy Gas to, to evolve. I've already put some effort into doing it. I, I want to just put full forth effort into leveling it up more. So I'm going to use all of these experience candies on, on Sandy Gas. Level 38. And then we should get to level 39. I hope when you do it that way, you don't just like skip over learning moves. Uh, that would be sad if that is how that works. HP stat, uh, you, you can have more HP. Uh, we're just going to keep raising Prime Apes attack stats. Perfect! Okay, so now I can go to the boxes. I'm going to take Floatzel out, uh, right into the water type. Perfect. And we're going to take Dash Bun out. There we go. And then I essentially know where I'm going, right? Maybe I should put a I should put a marker. Specifically that will set as our as our destination. Alright, so we want to go that way. I didn't remember which way which way to go. Right, right, this way and then off the cliff. And we jump off to the side then. And we are stopping and getting revenge on that uh on that go goat guy. What are you? Oh, you're a little nimble. I was like, hopefully we don't run into Pokemon by accident because we are just going to destroy them if we do. Oh, we can also like fly now. Oh, dude, I can just like glide this whole way down. Let's go. I'm actually not going to glide the whole way. I'm just going to make sure that if I drop, I'm not going to drop into the water or void, whatever that is. Yeah, I can just kind of come down here. Yeah, superhero landing. Perfect. All right, we are getting revenge on this guy up here uh, for killing us a long time ago. Alfernada. There's a shiny thing down there. I'm not going to get distracted. We are very close to that battle. It'll help me feel less uh, alone and lost. Oh, we are literally so close. All right, Paul, send out your go-go. I'm ready for you. I have not forgotten this. You were level 38? Yeah. Get Rage Fisted on. And I will keep doing that. Ooh, you're gonna bulk up? That's actually a little scary. I still don't think you can one-shot me yet. I don't remember what moves it has. I think it has Bulldoze, though. Ooh, it flinched! Let's go, King's Rock! Do it again. Oh my gosh! Let's go, let's go. I'm also now learning. I'm pretty sure Rage Fist must be based off damage that I take, not damage that the uh, the opponent takes. But I misread that a long time ago. Dude, we are unstoppable. We are unstoppable. Take this. Take this past me. It would be so happy if he knew what I'm doing to this go-go right now. Do I keep getting greedy? Do I keep getting greedy? The answer is, of course, I always get greedy. Come on, bulk up again. Bulk up again. Okay, there's the bulldoze. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, but now is where we actually switch out. Don't you dare predict this. You better just bulldoze again. I'm gonna be very sad. You somehow predict this. What a cheater! What a cheater! We should outspeed. Go wing beat. Yeah. Easy. I'm, I'm losing count. I don't know if we're at 20 uh, Rage Fists yet or not. But that should be a lot of experience. I don't know if Primate is ready to level up yet. No, not quite. All right, all right. Take that. All right, we're not going to get distracted. We are just going to go up this way. I'm going to wait until I see a trainer or a Pokemon before I bother healing my, uh, my Primate. Go a little slow. Make sure we don't just, like, fall off. I do want to stamp all these cl uh, cliffs. I'm sure there's things down there to explore. There is a trainer uh, right here. So that calls for healing. I should probably stock up on healing items next time I get to a Pokemon Center. 
I want to get a selfie of me beating you with this gorgeous view as a backdrop. Good luck. I don't think you're gonna be able to do it. Alan. Veluza. Vault and Veluza. It's a fish. Alright. Let's. Oh, super effective. Are you part psychic? Ghost? Are you a ghost fish? Could be. Ice Slash doesn't give you a, a whole lot of information. Take that. And that one killed. Because we took that little bit of damage. Very nice. Uh, Bear Tick. I will switch Pokemon, actually. Let's do... Uh, let's see Gargodapple in action. We can hit it with a Rock Slide and probably do a, a bunch of damage. Let's go! Look at this massive unit! Incredible, look at these big monsters just going at it. Snowscape? What is that? It started to snow. Okay. Is there any reason for that? Is that different than hail? I mean, it is because we're not doing damage. Does that just power up ice moves or something? Well, now you're resting, so what are, what, what, what are you going for here? What are you going for here? All right, well, uh, seems like you're going for the this big fat L that you're about to take. Goodbye. Is that your only Pokemon? Or your, your last Pokemon, I mean? All right. That was my defeat, huh? Every time I level up Primate now, I'm going to be like, mm, am I ready to evolve? <gasps> yes, let's go! Primate is evolving. I can't wait to see this up close. Show me it. Yeah, let's go! Look at him! The Primate uh, evolved into a Nihilate, which is... An amazing name. Yes, look at the floating thing. Oh, I love it. I love it. Fighting ghost Pokemon. It imbues its fist with the with the power of its rage that has kept hidden in its heart. Opponents uh, struck by these imbued fists will be shattered to their core. Oh, it's so good. Let's go, Annihilate. Shadow Punch? Yeah. Well, I mean, now I could probably get rid of Rage Fist. Oh, the attack never misses. We will actually just get rid of low kick. If I just really need to hit, I can go for Shadow Punch. I thought it was going to be like a way stronger physical move, but no, it's not. It's just one that never misses. Let's go. All right, so I don't need Annihilate at the front anymore. I will... I'm going to play Sandy Gas. In the front. Oh, dude, I forgot to look at the uh, the TM machines because I got new Pokemon materials. I was going to look at them, and then I just forgot. Go me. There's no Pokemon up here sort of distracting my, uh, my journey. Which is fun. We're sort of wandering around. I was like, this better never come to, like, a dead end or anything. Two experience candy medium. Hold on. Let's just, like, use them. I really just want to, like, get the Sandy Gas, like, evolved as, like, fast as I can. Level 41. Iron Defense, no. Can't you learn, like, a good move? Please? Uh, ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna do something a little crazy. This guy's gonna have a fighting type. You think Dash Bun can actually, like, do it? I'll probably be, like, six levels under under leveled. I lost at the Alpha the Gym, so I'll do some more training. Well, you're probably gonna lose if you're bringing fighting types. Jacobo. A Simeon. Alright, so let's see if we get one shot. If we don't, I think we can do a ton of damage. Level 36, you're even you're actually not as strong as the previous trainers. And we attack first. Oh, but he avoided. Oh, scary face? Okay, we're fine. I was gonna say, where's our dash button? It's so it's so down there. This is what we get for fighting at an incline. Okay, now you're gonna start bulking up. 
We got bulk up, scary face. Anything else? Ooh, we did not do nearly as much damage as I was expecting. I'll do it again. Ooh, now you take down. Okay. We are probably gonna have to switch out. We're not quite ready. Although, I'm now wondering if you actually have anything to hit Sandy Guest. You have a takedown, and I assume you have a fighting type move, but you might not. But you might not have anything to do with ghosts. Yes, now I have three ghost types on my team, by the way. I think as soon as Sandy Guest evolves, I, I'm probably just going to take it off the team. At this point, I'm just sort of committed to the idea of getting a Palisade. Um, and that I didn't really have a plan past that. But, uh, yeah. That's kind of what Sandy Gas purpose is at this point. Mostly because it doesn't have any, like, it hasn't been learning any good moves. And I don't even know if I have any, like, TMs that I can make to give it, like, a really good move. So, you know, it is what it is. Alright, Dash Bond is level 33 now. Roar? No, we don't need Roar. Primate? Uh, yeah, I am going to switch to... We're just gonna go kill Watchel. Dash button is not quite ready to to deal with the these these big boys now. All right, Primeape, you are probably not ready to take a dual wing beat. Actually, you can probably take one. Mm. Oh my gosh! Right there. Oh, are you trying to evolve your Primeape? You wanna you wanna get a cool looking annihilate like me? Oh, I forgot Rage Fist does more damage uh, if you take damage. And it was a crit. Either way, we're living. Barely, but we're living. Goodbye. It's still gonna be a lot of experience for our bench Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Nothing leveled up there, but that's okay. Yet another defeat. Yes, it was. Alright, let's just keep going. I don't know how close we are or not. Well, now there's a cave. And... Alright, so probably through this cave, then we can get to... Alphronata? Alright, I think... I don't think there's gonna be any trainers in here. There could be one. There's a Pokemon Center. And there's a Toxicity. The a Medicham in here. It's a Metatite. There is one trainer in here. Alright. Max Elixir. Okay, let us... Ooh. I want the shiny. Hold on, I want the shiny. And not shiny Pokemon, just the shiny TM. Rock Tomb. Not bad. Okay, here you are. Uh, let us put... Let's put Sandy Gas in the lead. And let's actually heal... And then, yeah, all right. We're going to fight you. That wouldn't be so kind of bad on me. Uh, it's like celebration for reaching Alphornada. Yeah. Yes, yes, indeed. We'll beat you up really quick. Alexis. Rabska? Yo, what is that? That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really think that we can do... Watch you. I'll just do a normal pair of Extra sensory. So you're like a psychic of. Oh! Could we not do that? All right. Well, I'll show you how I feel about that. I'm gonna have to revive my shady gas because I'm not. I'm not robbing it of, of this experience. Revive. There you go. Boom. Bug bite, yeah, so you're like a bug psychic? Yeah, this thing looks pretty cool, I like it. Um, so it's... Well, actually, wait, if you're a bug, maybe we flamethrower? Yes. Extra sensory. You're not gonna one-shot me like you did my... My sandy ass, how dare you? And I'll Shadow Ball just for variety. And because the Shadow Ball uh, attack looks pretty cool. There we go. There you go, Rabska. 
I don't know where you got one of those, but pretty cool. Skeletor's level 40 with their 9 kilowatts, level 39 Garganackle. Let's go. Our team is stacked. Wait, this is an Alpernata? Wait, it's about to be. Don't tell me that this is like coming out of somewhere that's not Alpernata. Because that would make me incredibly sad. Uh, but also, I know how to see maps, so it should be fine. There's another trainer right here. Oh, wait, we're not it? Oh, gosh. Gotta remember Pokemon types. All right, there might be more to this cave than I expected. We might just be ready to come out on the other side, but this episode is running a little long, so I'm actually going to uh, end it off right here. There's also more places in this cave to explore if I really wanted to, but uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can make our way to Alphanata Town uh, from this direction. Um as we continue on our journey but hopefully uh we get to the town next time and then maybe we'll do a gym battle we shall see but hopefully looking forward to that if so let me know and i'll see you on the next time so till then peace out